Hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you guys? Teacher. How are you today? Are you ready to start? Yeah. Okay. How was your weekend, guys? How was your weekend? Tell me. Very good. Very good. Nice. Okay. Well, we're going to begin everybody with a session. And we're going to start passing the attendance. Please, very, once we listen to you. Good. Okay. Dice que aquí por donde vive está cayendo una tormenta eléctrica horrible y hemos tenido problemas con electricidad y todo eso. Entonces eh, voy a mantener apagado el video porque si no se me traba todo. Cuando enciendo el video pierde calidad. Ok, ok. También donde mi teacher. Eh, no se preocupe. Sí, es, eh... Igual que eh, teacher. Eso, igual eh, Delmi me dijo que no iba a entrar porque donde ella eh, se fue la luz, por lo mismo por lo de la lluvia. Oh, ok. Eso es por, por informar. Espero que bueno. se, pueda, se pueda unir. Sí, en algunos lugares, bueno, de hecho, se ven a que se están. Sí, yo tengo problemas con la soy Carla Rivera para poder encender la cámara, pero aquí estoy. Claro, claro, no se preocupe. Entiendo, este, en algunos lados está. Igual, teacher, sí, eh, me da problemas el internet. Ajá. Claro, sí, yo entiendo, pero por, por el video es uh, la señal o caso la conexión se vuelve una pregunta. No se preocupe. Solo voy a pedir de favor que la que la señal, solo para tomar la captura más adelante, se puede pasar lista. No se preocupe. Uh, bueno, de hecho, acá no está mi visual, no está viviendo ahorita, pero que no nos no llueva porque ya de eso, pues, tiende a, a ir la luz a veces. Espero que no. Ok, let's go. Alberto Espinosa. Present teacher. Yeah. Ana Francesca García. Present teacher. Vicky yeah. García. Present teacher. Yeah. Master Díaz. Master Díaz. Okay. Okay. Astrid Muñoz. Okay. Bessie Ábalos. Bessie Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Martínez. Present. Thank you. Rosa Rarriola. Yeah. Claudia Ramos. Present. Thank you. Valida Galicia. Present teacher. Thank you. El ministro aquí. Ernesto García. Present teacher. Yeah, Stephanie C. Present. Thanks. Gerson Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Okay. Elina Limares. Present teacher. Yeah. Eliana Alvarado. Present teacher. Thanks. Iván Patriz. Present. Good. Okay. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Here. Joana Navarro. Can you hear me? Teacher, como que Hello. salió el Hello. ¿Me hear me? Sí, ok. No okay. veía nada. That's, that's what I said. I'm sorry. No me había fijado que se había bloqueado el micrófono del solo, no sé por qué. Ah, eso fue lo que dije. Bueno, de hecho no estaba viendo y fue extraño. Se ha ido la luz. <laughs> bueno, let's continue. Uh, I said Joana Navarro. Joana le escribí ahí en el chat. Present. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Jorge Present Spinoza. teacher. Oh, thank you. Jorge Espinosa. Yeah. Okay. Jose Barrientos. Jose Barrientos. Here. Eh, José Barrientos está escribiendo también, teacher. Yeah. Que no se escucha, dice. Pero ahí está en el chat. Thank you, thank you. José Rodríguez. José Portillo. José Portillo. Creo que algunos no me escuchan, probablemente sea por la conexión. Se desconectó el teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. I didn't care about you. Present. Thank you. Karen Mejiva. Karen Mejiva. I'm oh, here. Karen Renata Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Granado. Carla Granado is here. En Carla Rosa. Present. Thank you. Ok, ¿a quién no mencioné? Perdón. A mí, teacher. Uh, partido, ese partido. A mí. Sí. Okay. Sí, lo, lo puse acá. Ok, sí. Ok, sí, thank you, teacher. Me logro escuchar por la lluvia, pero ok, gracias. Thank you. Bueno, pásale, pero pásale, ya no se preocupe. Bueno, um, voy a tomar el gestor ahorita. Me pueden enseñar su cámara. Y okay, les comunicamos: 3, 1, 2, 3. Thank you. Bueno, lo que tengo acá: um, Astrid Díaz. Present. ¿Qué? Okay. Astrid Muñoz. ¿Qué okay. okay, pues, es esto? Okay, let's continue. Well, let me display the, the presentation. Está todo bien con el, la plataforma, no he tenido ningún inconveniente. Oh, vamos. Oh, no con la plataforma. ¿Todo bien? ¿Qué me? ¿Qué? Eh, ahorita yo puedo ir con la plataforma, pero en esta semana está donde tenemos que llegar. Oh, ok. Una pregunta. Bueno, como lo, 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 lo he estado mencionando, pueden avanzar, no se preocupen. Pueden avanzar y completarla. Bueno, algunos ya lo hicieron a completar. Muy bien. Entonces, que ustedes pueden avanzar, no se preocupen. Porque si avanzan o si vamos al, al ritmo, es decir, de las sesiones, hacia una sección que vayamos, empezamos en la sección 4. La segunda, la seg el segundo día de la semana 4. Porque en la semana pasada, jueves, tuvimos el primer día. Iniciamos con la semana 4. Ahora estamos en el segundo día. Ya que estoy suerte, ¿no? Debido a la vacación. Es que vamos en, la, en el día 2 de la semana 4. Sección 4. No. No. Tercera semana. Aclaro. Tercera semana, sección 4. Todavía no hace falta una semana más. Porque son cuatro semanas. Ahora bien, aprovechando el paso ahorita antes de iniciar, quiero compartir una información que se nos, se nos dijo temprano que les notificáramos a ustedes. Estoy verificando acá. Y bueno, ya todos recibieron su, el formato, lo que me consultaron la vez pasada con respecto a la inscripción del dedo. Yes, teacher. Ok. Ahora bien, con respecto a eso, se nos notificó de que les dijéramos a ustedes que el próximo lunes, 26 de abril, va a ser la fecha límite. La fecha límite para enviar ese formato. Sin prórroga. Así que no hay vuelta de hoja. Así que o sea, tienen hasta ese día, lunes 26, 
de abril para enviar ese formato. Entonces, pues no hay que esperar hasta el último día. Hay que enviarlo con tiempo. Si ya lo enviamos, pues qué bueno. Y si no lo hemos enviado, pues los invito a que lo hagan con tiempo. Ahora bien, lo otro es que esos documentos deben de enviarlos a un correo en específico. El correo es soporte arroba inglés corporativo punto net. Pues compartiré aquí en el chat. ¿Qué cosa? Y esa es la única vía. Por favor, no lo enviamos por WhatsApp, no me lo envíen a mí, no se lo envíen a Mariela, por ejemplo. No solo tienen que enviarlo a este correo, solo acá. Porque si lo envían a, a, por WhatsApp, por ejemplo, no se lo van a recibir. Tiene que estar acá. Reporte arroba inglés por colectivo punto net. ¿Me tengo alguna pregunta? Teacher, eh, ¿cuándo termina este módulo? Terminamos el 28 de abril. 28 de abril. Ok, sí. gracias. Esa es sesión número, número 10. Nos va a hacer falta la otra semana. Específicamente terminamos el, el miércoles, el 28. Ahora bien, continuando con los documentos, recuerden que deben de ser enviados a ese correo. Ahora su correo. Y lo otro es que los documentos deben ser enviados en un solo documento de PDF. Otro documento de PDF, incluyendo las tres hojas de ficha de inscripción, el DUI, NIT, revés y derecho, legibles. ¿Okay? Y bueno, lo demás, voy acá leyendo el, el correo que recibí. Los documentos que, que ellos reciban van a servir para, para reservar ese cupo únicamente. Claro, se clara. El que tenga la el que tenga la beca para el próximo módulo depende de los resultados. Recuerden, eso es muy importante. Si obtenemos la, la beca para el próximo módulo, va a depender de la asistencia y del el porcentaje de notas. 180. Si queremos mantener ambos. Asistencia y notas. Pues que bueno, solamente eso. Tienen dudas o preguntas, me pueden escribir a, Ma, a mí, perdón. Pueden notificar, me pueden contactar y hacer sus consultas. Con respecto a eso, o como en general. Teacher, teacher. En el siguiente módulo, el que tendríamos que poner en el momento de la solicitud sería preintermedio, uno. Módulo uno. Sí. Si no me equivoco. Si me equivoco, es. Ya. Yeah. Preintermedia. Preintermedia, uno. Una cosa, ¿Bien? como tip, que eh, cuando envíen los documentos, envíenlos como en el mismo archivo, o sea, las páginas de PDF, el DUI y el NIT, porque yo la primera vez envié como en un solo PDF, solo el formulario y aparte el NIT y el DUI me tocó volverlos a mandar, entonces para ahorrarse eso, mándenlo de un solo, en la misma archivo PDF, todo. Exacto, y si sacan otra recomendación, aprovechando, como se los dije Hace un momento, lo menciona Eliana, viene en un solo documento, todo, ya las tres hojas de inscripción y el DUI, y NIT. NIT. Ah, otra recomendación, si ustedes van a, no sé si cuentan con, con el equipo, es decir, para poder escanear y todo eso, um, traten la manera de juntarlo todo en solo. Si lo, lo llevan a otro lugar y después escanean y les eh, accionan el documento en su modo. Pueden ustedes acá en, 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 en internet, en el navegador, pueden buscar algunas páginas en las cuales pueden ustedes unir. Porque por lo general, los documentos cuando los van a, a sacar ustedes a escanear, se los adjuntan en un archivo PDF. Así es que es bien difícil a veces a cambiarlo a, a Word, a menos que lo hagamos igual en, en una página. Pero es más fácil si ustedes a, buscan una página que les permita apuntar PDFs. Eh, sería tu recomendación para que okay. si desean ayuda, pues ahí estamos en la hora. ¿Hay alguna duda, alguna pregunta con respecto a la información compartida? Es que, por favor, enviemos 
estos documentos lo antes posible. No esperamos hacer el último día. Recuerden que a veces los accidentes pasan de repente. Y sí, es mejor enviar las una consulta este, con respecto a los... Yo sé que cuando tenemos algún comentario no se puede entrar a la clase o por cuestiones de trabajo me da o algo. ¿Cuánto es el... O sea, cuántas son como las ausencias para no perder como la beca? Porque Entendido. a veces se ha dado como... Ajá, por, por lo mismo, porque ya eh, esto como ya encaminando más tiende allá estar otra vez la vida normal, ¿verdad? Entonces, los que tenemos como un poquito más de actividad, nos está como costando un poquito. Y para saber hasta dónde uno puede, porque igual, ¿verdad? Del trabajo uno no puede pedir permiso. Y aquí si nos ausentamos sí. también hay visto que es un poquito complicado, ¿verdad? Pero entiendo por la beca, ¿verdad? Por la clasificación de la beca. Pero ¿cuánto y hasta dónde? O sea, puede ser flexible, en ese caso, um, lo recomendable sería que, que, que estén en todas las escalas. Pero se comprende, se comprende algunas situaciones, ya lo menciona, con respecto a trabajo, etc. Y pues recuerden que es un 80%. No les estoy diciendo que pues, falten vale, días, por ejemplo, que no es el propósito. El, con el propósito que obtén las sesiones. Pero, como repito, se comprenden las situaciones y mi recomendación sería que quizás hagan lo posible de, de conectarse, aunque tal vez por, por un momento estén oyentes, si es que van de camino a su casa o no sé, están en el trabajo, pero si va a ser muy difícil quizás participar, yo lo recomendable sería que se unan uno sea, sea como sea y siempre sea, y en cuanto puedan ustedes participar vamos ¿okay? podamos que si hayamos llegado a la casa o no sabemos que si yo tengamos un tiempo libre en el trabajo etcétera, que hagamos lo posible um, tratándose del 80% podría decir que que no sería recomendable pero sería me podría decir que pueden ausentarse dos sesiones, aunque no les diría, no se los diría de esa forma, porque ustedes si saben, tenemos, bueno, en el caso en que el futuro tiene sus reglas, y en el propósito no es decir que fue falta. La, la idea es que todos estén, todos estén, y no se pueden dar permisos, ustedes lo saben, y en caso de ausente, pues deben de justificar y, y estar, en este caso, en que eh, podría ser unas dos sesiones si en algún dado caso tengamos un motivo, es decir, el trabajo, etc. Porque eh, esas podrían ser justificaciones. Eh, entonces, que eso podría ser unas dos sesiones, por lo menos, para calcular ese 80%. Es un 80%. Se debe mantener. Porque no sé si hay alguna duda, alguna pregunta. Pero sí, la, lo, lo recomendable sería es que todos estén en la sesión. Eso es la, lo, lo que nos, nos indican parte de inglés cooperativo. No se les puede dar permiso, aunque se me justifiquen, deben estar presentes, como sea. No es una beca, deben de. ¿Ok? Es que no sé si hay dudas. No, teacher, está bien. Muchas gracias. You're welcome. Okay, well, let's begin now that I share that information with you. Welcome one more time. Good evening. Now we're going to begin with the session. This is session number 10. Today is Monday, April 19, 2021. And the topic for today is simple past statements with regular verbs. Regular verbs. Okay, we're going to focus on that today. Moving on, let's begin. And let's start defining what is the simple past tense. The simple past tense indicates an action which is completed at a definite time in the past. Okay? So we talk about past events, past actions. Okay? And we're going to start by 
sharing the structures. What are the structures that we follow? Remember, we're talking about the simple facts. Past actions, past events, things that you did. For example, things that you did last weekend, last Saturday, last Sunday. Okay? So this is the, these are the structures that we follow. Just some of the structures that we follow with a simple process. Let's begin with the primitive form. This is the primitive form. We follow the subject plus the verb. The verb in this case is in past form, not in base form, plus a company. That is the sort for the primitive law. And we can say she worked yesterday. She worked yesterday. So this is the, the subject. We have a, a verb which is in base form. I'm sorry, in base in past form. Word, word, and the company. Yesterday. Yesterday is a time expression, and that indicates Simple. Yesterday is una expresión, una expresión de tiempo que nos indica una forma pasada. Yesterday. Okay. She worked yesterday. That is the affirmative form. The negative form, the negative form, we have the subject plus didn't, which is auxiliary verb. Plus the verb. The verb has to be in base form in this case, not in past form. And a complement. Okay. Isn't. If not, this is the auxiliary. It's an auxiliary. And we can use the contraction. The contraction is theta. This is an auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb. Okay, and the verb is in base form. It is not in past form. Let's give an example. You didn't work yesterday. As you can see, the verb is not in past form. It's in base form. Work. You didn't work yesterday. That is the, the negative form. Okay. And we have questions, but we're going to see questions in, in another session. But I'm going to show you what is the structure that we follow. And now we're going to focus on that in affirmative and negative form. Ahorita solo nos vamos a enfocar en la forma afirmativa y negativa. Okay. But I'm going to explain what is the structure that we follow for questions. The questions, there's no questions specifically. We use did, the auxiliary, class, subject. Plus the verb in base form. Again, it's in base form, not in past form. Complement. And at the end, we have the question mark. Right? And we can say the she word. Let's analyze the question. Let's analyze the question. Did, is the killer in? She, which is the subject. Word, is the verb in base form. Not in past form, and the complement yesterday. If you were yesterday, you can answer yes, she did. No, she didn't, because these are short answers. Podemos responder a esas preguntas con respuestas cortas. Yes, she did. No, she did. Because these are short answers. Short answers. Answer. Yes, no questions. Okay. Any questions? You want to check out? No. Don't forget this the simple past tense 
indicates an action which is completed at a definite time in the class. An action completed. Okay. Eh, a un tiempo específico. Okay. All the questions? Teacher. Yeah. Solo en el en el afirmativo se conjuga el, el verbo con el ed. Yeah. Okay. We okay. always it's a pleasure. We always conjugate the verb in the affirmative form. We conjugate the verb, as the classmate said, in the affirmative form. Only in the affirmative. In the negative, the question, yeah. Regular and irregular verbs. Exactly. That is the, that is the second form. I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about that. Specifically, regular verbs. We're going to focus on the regular verbs in this session. Very good. Okay. Yeah, in the affirmative form, we use the verb in past form, as we saw it previously. Solo con la forma afirmativa es que el verbo es en forma pasada. The negative in questions, we use base form. Usamos el verbo en forma base. In present form, some people said. Forma presente. Okay. Because we have the auxiliary. The auxiliary didn't. And that one is for simple things. Just the verb auxiliar is really strong and it's pasado. Pasado simple. Didn't in negative, the question is did. Did. Okay. Well, perfect. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Well, pleasure. Moving on. Let's talk about regular words. As Ernesto said, we have regular and irregular verbs. Right now, we're gonna focus on regular verbs. Next session, in another session, we're going to talk about irregular verbs, okay? No worry, we're gonna go step by step. Ahorita vamos a enfocar en los verbos regulares. Vamos a ir fast to fast. Let's go with the regular verbs. Okay, when we talk about the regular verbs, we add some specific forms. We add some endings. These are the endings. D, ed, ied. These are the terminations that we use in the verbs regular. Let me give you some examples. These are some regular verbs. Let's start with the, with the present form. We have three forms. We have three forms with the verbs. Tenemos tres formas verbales. Y, bueno, acá solo vamos a ver dos por el momento. Present in past form. Because this is the one that we interest. The one that we interest. Present form. We have the verbs watch, exercise, study, pay, Job, work, play, visit. And we use these endings. Did, he did, I did. With most of the verbs, we add he did. For the majority of the verbs, we use he did. And we have some other rules. Some other rules, for example, when the verbs finish with the letter E, we add D. Cuando los verbos terminan en, en E, por ejemplo, se les agrega solo D. And when the verbs finish in consonant white, consonant white, but we change the white, we eliminate white and we add I E D. Cuando los verbos terminan en consonante Y, se les elimina o se les omite Y. Okay. Stay. Why stay? We don't omit the white. We keep it because we have vowel consonant. Vowel consonant. Cuando tenemos vocal consonante no se omit. Se mantiene. Stay. Stayed. 
play play it okay that's why that is it those are some rules that's some rules okay let's go with this a verse these are some common verbs that we use why listen to me listen to me present form watch why as form watch why watch watch why watch why exercise 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 study 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 stay 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 Work, 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 play, 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 visit, 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 visit. As you can see, the pronunciation is different. Fast one. La pronunciación en los verbos no pasada, perdón, es diferente. Sure. Yeah. Una duda. ¿Vale? En short, en la P, siempre cuando va a pasar el pasado, siempre se va a duplicar la P. Oh, that is a good question. Let me, let me explain why. Uh, short. Uh, Plan another one. Stop. Well, when we have these specific verbs, and we have more verbs because we have the following rule consonant, vowel, contact. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Because we have this rule. And that, because of this rule, we double the last letter, the last consonant, P and P. That's what we say in the past form, we say shall. Plan, 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 plan. Stop. Well, these words, they have a particular characteristic. They have a one syllable. Los verbos tienen una característica en específico, en particular, mm -hmm. que tienen una sola sílaba. Y cuando tienen una sola sílaba, debemos de tomar en cuenta esta regla. Consonant? Sí. O sea, me podrán preguntar, but teacher, have two consonants at the beginning. O sea, me podrán preguntar, pero hay dos consonantes al inicio. Sí, pero aplica. Aplica es como que tengamos una sola. Consonant, vowel, consonant. That's what we do with the P. P, L. Consonant, vowel, consonant. N, plan. So we do with the, the N. We do with the N. So, N, consonant, vowel, consonant. So, Stop. Stop. Okay. And the pronunciation is different. Um, clear? See why, why we double the last letter? Claro, porque so, en este caso hacemos, duplicamos la última consonante. Yeah. Questions? Okay, questions? Any questions? Do it for a moment. Okay. 
Okay, let's continue. No. Teacher. Yeah. Stay no entra en esa regla. No. Let me explain why. Stay when the verb I will, I will use stay and study. When we have a stay and a study, for example. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, you're asking me for, for this rule, right? Constant See? number will constant. I'm sorry. Uh, in this case, no, because this is an detection. This is an, an detection. Say, we add ed, just ed. And with one white. With play, it's the same. We add just ed. Okay. In these cases, in these cases, it's because we have another rule. The rule says that when the verbs, when the verbs, um, has, I'm sorry, have one syllable and they finish with white, we add in this case, I'm sorry, when they finish like a uh, vowel, vowel plus consonant, we keep the white and we, we add it in. Esa es, la, esa es otra regla. Cuando okay. los verbos tienen una sola sílaba y terminan en consonante, al consonante, las white, no lo omitimos. Lo mantenemos y solo debemos tener. No okay. 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 Just give me a second. Thanks, teacher. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Any questions, guys? Más preguntas. Okay, let me explain the following part. Well, with the regular verse, we have some sounds. That sounds, different sounds. And that's why we pronounce the words differently in the past form. Tenemos sonidos para los verbos regulares en forma pasada. En, por eso pronunciamos diferentes los verbos. What are those sounds? We have a T sound, we have a D sound, and we have an, an E sound. E sound. Okay? We have some specific words. And you have to take into account though some specific forms when we're talking about the verbs. When the verbs have a T sound, it's because we're going to pronounce with that specific sound. Okay. For example, we have voiceless sound and we have voice sound. Voiceless sound is because you have a vibration in your throat, okay? You have a vibration. Word, word, word. If you put your hand in your throat, you can listen to a vibration, okay? So in that case, that's when we have um, voiceless sound and voice sound, talking about the regular birds, right? That is the first thing. For example, we have this specific verb. This verb has a T sound. We say word. Word is in the base form. Word. With a T sound, we say word. 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 Okay, it's like you pronounce in this way. Word. La pronunciación viene siendo de esa forma. Word. Word. Word, word, okay? Another example is walk. Walk, 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 say, walk, 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 walk. Another one is talk, talk, walk, say, talk, talk. Oh. Okay. 
This is the T sound. T sound. Okay. Let's go with a D sound. With a D sound, we have some specific verbs. For example, play is in one. Play uh, is a boy sound. Play. In this case, we say play. 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 Is a D sound. Play. 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 So the pronunciation is like this. The pronunciation is like this. But the part is like this. Play. Play. Our example is stay. Stay is say stay. 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 Okay. Those are some examples to this sound. With its sound, with its sound, we have some other verbs. Visit, for example. Visit. Visit is in the best form, present form. In the past form, we say visited. Visited. Visit. Visited. Visit, visit them. Okay. And it's like this. Visit, visit them. Visit, visit them. Okay. It's the pronunciation is like this, right? Pronunciation by the center is like this. the form is like this. But the verb in this form is like this. Okay. Another example. Star. Okay. Starter. Or Tatter. Tatter. And another one. Let me give another one. Decide. 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 Okay. Decided. 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 Okay. That is it, the way we pronounce the verbs. The regular verse is different, but this sounds. Listen, uh, tomorrow I'm going to point out this regular verse. We're gonna focus on regular verse. We will have more verse and we will listen to the pronunciation of verse, okay? I'm giving you just, you know, some explanations about regular verse, for the sounds, this sound, this sound, and it sound. Okay, now we're going to have a more detail how they are going to identify each sound. We're going to have a session specific for the verbs, the pronunciation, and we're going to practice more exercises tomorrow. We're going to have more examples, and we're going to have more examples. This is the verb, but also complex in terms of pronunciation. In terms of form, it is said, Cómo se, se va agregando su terminación más fácil. Le damos, vamos a detallar. ¿Tiene cuestiones? Preguntas hasta acá. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Okay, moving on. Let's go now to the following part. I'm gonna give you some examples. Let's just start with affirmative form. With affirmative form, we have I played a computer game. I played a computer game. Subject, the verb in past form, and a complement. I played a computer game. You studied. Math. You studied math. You watched a talk show. You watched a talk show. You watched a talk show. Next, you wanted. You wanted to stay home. You wanted to stay home. You wanted to stay home. The other one, we could. We could 
Italian to be good. Italian to good. Italian to But it's in affirmative. And as you can see, we change the verse, right? We use them in past form. Okay. What about negative form? Negative form. I didn't play chess. That case is normal because the verbs are in base form. The verbs are in base form. In the negative form, we have the auxiliary, didn't. Subject, didn't, which is auxiliary, play the verb in chess physically. I didn't play chess. He didn't study English. He didn't watch the news. He didn't want to go out. We didn't cook Chinese food. Cook. No, okay? But this is a way, guys, we structure the simple forms, affirmative and negative form. Okay, questions about this? Another thing that I want to point out, talking about simple past, how simple past in general, simple past tense, is that we have some expressions, some expressions for past. We have, for example, yesterday, um, let's say last weekend, let's say last year, uh, the day before yesterday, let's say last Saturday, etc. We have more time equations. Okay, and these are keywords, keywords in sentences. Estas son algunas expresiones um, de tiempo que usamos para la forma pasada. Okay, yesterday, last weekend, last year, the day before yesterday, last Saturday. We have other ones like two years ago, say five years ago, five years ago. We can say uh, 10 days ago. We can say in 1994, last decade, etc. Those are how many questions to ask. Questions? No. No. Everything clear? I hope so. Yeah. I think. Questions? Yes, no. I want to do that. No Hagamos. questions. Thank you. No tengamos pena, no tengamos okay. miedo. Andemos. Yeah. Para estar claros, esta conjugación del verbo es el verbo ha sido hecho y completado en el pasado. ¿Me pregan, sorry? El verbo ha sido concluido en el pasado. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's completed, it's completed in the past. Exactly. So this is a completed action. Completed action in the past. A completed action or a completed event in the past. Es una acción completada. Un evento, un acontecimiento que ya se completó. En el pasado. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Yeah, sure. Eh, when I, I say in negative form, eh, you didn't study English. Eh, you could be say you did not study English. Yeah, you can. You can because you can use a long form. You did not. It's more. Uh, it's more uh, casual. Say so didn't. When you say didn't, it's because you're using contractions and you want to to speak. I would say fast. Contractions yeah. help us. Mm -hmm. Contractions help us to to speak fast. The contractions nos ayudan a. Son buenas. Son buenas. En cuanto a hablarlo, por ejemplo, 
estamos en una conversación, podemos utilizar contracciones sin ningún problema. Si es un texto académico, por ejemplo, no son apropiados. Debemos utilizar la forma extensa, de long form. Por eso era la pregunta, porque hoy estaba en la, en la plataforma y ponía didn't y no me la tomaba. Mm. Tengo que poner did not para ponerme la eh, buena la, yeah. la respuesta. Sí, yeah, exactly. Probablemente en ese caso, algunas plataformas o sistemas, digámoslo así, como otros que sucede, entramos a otras páginas. Los ejercicios no nos va a aceptar este, contracciones. Probablemente sea porque la plataforma o, o el sistema en ese caso solo acepta la respuesta de plus, una extensa. Algunas páginas se aceptan ambas, o didn't and did not. En ese caso, la plataforma Ahora, eh, no nos acepta la, la contracción. ¿no? Se lo voy a decir. Bueno, o, lo más común, si, 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 perdón, lo más común si estoy hablando es mejor decir didn't, creo yo. Es como más casual, sí. decía yo. Sí, yeah, I mean, cuando estamos Habla. hablando... Yeah, when we're speaking, cuando estamos hablando, sí, podemos usar contracciones, no hay ningún problema. ¿Por qué? Porque eso nos ayuda a, a expresar las ideas más fluidas, por decirles algo, nos ayuda bastante. Y por lo general, eh, personas nativas del inglés usan muchas contracciones. Okay. Podemos okay, usar. Thank you, You're welcome, pero aclaro, para un texto académico o algo académico no, no, es, no es correcto. Debe ser la o did not. Porque no, no es, es okay. informal, digamos. Sí. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay, well, listen. Moving on to the following part. And we're going to, I'm sorry for the title. Let me change it. Oh, yes. Okay, listen, we're going to practice now. It's your turn. Now it's your turn. Remember, we're having simple past statements with regular verbs. What are we going to do? We're going to follow the examples given. And you have to write, guys, in your notebooks, three similar examples by using the simple past tense, regular verbs, listen, regular verbs, and the verbs shown in the box. Okay, or in the table, sorry. Listen, I'm going to give you some examples, but I'm going to go back quickly. You have to use, sorry, you have to use these verbs, okay? Select three, three verbs, and please take a screenshot if you want. Tenemos una captura, tenemos una foto, porque quiero que utilizamos estos verbos por un momento. Si queremos utilizar otro verbo regular, podemos usar. Para ver que está regular. Vamos a practicar, no solo con Okay? Select three and write three examples. Take a screenshot, take a photo, table. Es una captura, una foto de la tabla, los verbos, lo que lo compartieron en el grupo, si no me equivoco. Move, yes. Okay. Well, let's go to the last part. And I need you to follow the examples and write, you guys, you're going to write in your notebooks, three similar examples. By using the simple past tense with a regular verse. And the verse on the box. Okay. Examples. I watched a movie on Saturday. I didn't exercise on Saturday. Okay. Second, my father worked last Sunday. He didn't stay home. Okay. So we have to talk about about have to talk about ourselves, and we can talk about our family members. Father, your mother, your friends, etc. Okay? Write three similar examples, please. Your numbers. Your simple past tense with the regular verbs. Okay? Question? Affirmativa y negativa. Yeah, you can use affirmative and negative form. If you want to use affirmative and negative at the same time, you can do it. Vamos a utilizar afirmativo, negativo, si queremos combinarlo, podemos hacerlo. Ok, 
you ready, please let me know. You can raise your hand. Estamos listos. Levantamos la mano. It's done. Okay, nice. Very good. I will give you two more minutes. Um, by the way, I'm checking the chat. Let me see. Alberto, it's everything good now. Good morning, Alberto. Tenemos problemas con el internet. Bueno, algunos que tienen problemas. Ahí vienen algunas horas. Muy bien, Alberto. By the way, I can no mention it. I think okay, but it's fantastic. Can you mention it? Teacher, a mí no me mencionó al principio. Yo mencioné. José Isaías, Portillo, Ramos. Oh, but yes, I yes, I miss it. See, look, 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 Yo tuve, pro, yo tuve problema uh, para conectarme la, al inicio de la clase. Oh, Jorge, este no, no pasó asistencia. No, no, sí. Ahorita lo agrego, sí. Ok, bueno, gracias. ¿Qué más? Ah, sí, Muñoz. Ya. Y es correcto I didn't do exercise in the morning. Yeah, you can say in that way. You can say, I didn't, I didn't, oops, I didn't do exercises, exercises in the morning. Or you can say, you can say, I didn't, I didn't, Exercise because exercise is a verb, so both are correct. I must correct. What is different when you do? I'm sorry, what is different? Um, what is different when you do? You just do okay. Well, when you say do exercises, it's because you're referring to you know, probably you. You include different, you know, kind of exercises. Okay, do exercise. It's the same uh, as you said it in, you know, in, in in Spanish. You say hacer ejercicios. Okay, but if you say I did exercise, it, you're saying like no me ejercitado. It's not common to see that one, but we can use it. We can use it. Okay. So the difference is that this one exercise is a verb, is a verb, and exercises is a noun. Es es un verbo, y es es un vivo. Okay, pero ambos son correctos. Teacher, excuse me, eh, yeah? excuse me, este, no, no sé, este, por lo que he leído en películas y todo eso, lo, lo entiendo en decirlo, pero no lo comprendo. O sea, ¿por qué tengo que decir, I didn't do exercise, si estoy hablando en pasado? Y el do, oh. eh, yo sé que el didn't es el auxiliar, entonces, yeah. por eso me pregunta, pues, do ¿por qué is ocupar the, el do? Do is a verb, that is a verb. For example, when you say, um, in affirmative form, I did exercises. I did exercises in the morning. Did, it's a, it's a verb. I mean, it is a past form of do. 
to be in. So those are irregular verbs. Estos son verbos irregulares. Eso es lo que vamos a ver en otra sesión. Estamos enfocando en, en los verbos regulares, pero no hay ningún problema. ¿Cuál es la duda? Con gusto lo paramos. Do and did. Did is the past form. I did exercises in the morning. That is an affirmative form. In negative, you say, I didn't do exercises in the morning. Remember that didn't is just an auxiliary. Didn't is solamente un auxiliar. Y el verbo principal es do. Okay. Teacher, excuse me, pero es como que si mando verbos ahí. Do exercise. No, no, because exercises is a noun. No, porque las palabras, las palabras tienen diferentes uh, formas. Exercise, exercise puede ser un sustantivo, noun. Es el verbo. Va a depender. Do exercises is always together. Okay? It is always together. Okay? Do exercises in exercise. If you say exercise is a verb. Solo la palabra exercise si lo utilizamos como verbo. Por ejemplo, en ese caso, I did exercise. And if you say I didn't do exercises, so we have a verb and we have a noun. Exercises. Okay. okay. Is is if we're affirmative, sería este en afirmativo en pasado sería I exercised. I did exercises. If you no, want to say en, no, en 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 afirmativo en pasado. Oh, I exercised in the morning. This is an affirmative. I exercised in the morning. All are correct. Ambos son correctas. Teacher, pero mi pregunta es, por ejemplo, en ese caso no ocupo el do. Entonces, el do lo ocupa cuando está haciendo oraciones negativas. No, no. Okay, listen. When you say do exercises, you say exercise. They are the same. They are the same. The difference is that in one of the forms, we have the verb and a noun. This is a compound verb. This is a compound phrase. Veremos esa forma, el verbo y un sustantivo, por ejemplo, exercises. Tenemos una frase compuesta. Okay? Podría ser un, un verbo compuesto de all of them. And this one, exercise, is just a verb. En ese caso solo tenemos el verbo. Podría ser lo mismo. Y ambas son correctas. La diferencia es esa, que tenemos en ese caso el verbo principal que es do y exercises que es un complemento. Es una, es un, es una frase compuesta. En el caso tenemos el verbo. Esa es la diferencia. Pero es lo mismo. Es lo mismo. Podemos utilizar un affirmative, negative, en question. Yo pienso que el, eh, depende context, right? Exactly. Porque el significado de en, en do exercise es como hacer ejercicio. En cambio, cuando está solito el exercise es como ejercitarse, right? Exactly. That is a way. That is a way. So you can just both. You can just both. It's okay. ¿Sí? ¿Preguntas? ¿Claro? ¿La diferencia? Yo, teacher. Yana? Yes. Um, how do you say um, in la vida cotidiana? Oh, we can say on regular basis. On regular basis. Oh. Regular basis. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, let me see who else. Oh, um, Pat and Renata, you asked me about do exercises and exercises, right? Is it clear? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. I need I need more pro practice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. Sure. You, you have to practice. You have to practice a lot. Good. Also, Sarah Viola is here. 
¿Qué más no he mencionado? Voy a mencionar otros dos nombres antes que se me olvide. Astrid Muñoz. Astrid Muñoz. Yeah. Bessie Avalos. Here. Del mi Guadalupe. Del mi Guadalupe. No. Y Karen Mengiva. Okay. Well, uh, I need some volunteers with the examples. Volunteers. Mm, me teacher. Yes, okay. Um, I didn't play soccer at school. Uh, I studied physics um, the day before yesterday. I stayed at home in the Holy Week. Okay. You can say I stay home. I stayed on during Holy Week or in Holy Week. Without that, without the article. I'm sorry. Could you say, repeat? Sure. You can say I stay home during Holy Week. During Holy Week. Okay. I yeah. understand right now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Very good. Well, I will read uh, only that. Sorry. Only that. Cesar? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm, I'm going to read it. Ernesto's examples. My sister graduated last Friday. We didn't invite all the family. Okay. Yeah. Good. Just remember, Ernesto is with it. Graduated. Graduated. My sister graduated last Friday. We didn't invite all the family. I put my favorite salad, but I didn't chop enough mushrooms. Yes. I finished the puzzle. What for the days? I finished the puzzle, but I didn't enjoy it. And the last one, the company celebrated the 10th anniversary, but I didn't stay all night. Oh, okay. Uh, it's like this, uh, Vanessa. 10th. 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 Touch. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Let me see. Jose Barrientos, I watched the platform in the morning. He studied yesterday and we visited our parents last week. This one, you say you can say, I think I checked. I checked the platform. Platform. In the morning, that could be another option, okay? But you can say, watch, watch. <clears throat> okay, any questions? Sorry? Oh, Stephanie said, sure. Give us your examples. Okay. Hmm. I didn't exercise this weekend. I studied yesterday for the English exam. My mother didn't work on last Saturday. Very nice. Thank you. That's nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, so the last one, last participant. Somebody else? I would like you to, to share your examples via WhatsApp, guys, because we don't have time. It's time to go. Me gustaría que compartieran sus ejemplos pues en WhatsApp, en el grupo, o si compartimos a mí. Está bien. Okay. Vamos a escucharlos a, a todos. Siento. This is time. Okay. Of course, you can send me the, the Examples, be able to, okay? But of course, I'm going to check them. Uh, any questions, Joanna? You want to 
Show you examples. Yeah. Okay. My brother, my brother watched the TV all day because he didn't do his homework. Okay, um, I did exercise in my dreams because I didn't do exercise on a regular basis. Okay. Do you have another one? Another one? I was studying yesterday because today I had class. Hmm. But again, the last one. I. Porque yo tenía clase. I had class. Yo tenía clases. Yeah, I had class. I had class. I had a class. Or I had mm, classes. Yes. I have a class or classes. Okay. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Okay, en ese caso estaba combinando otro, otro tiempo, pero no se preocupe, que les ha pasado al final. You say, I was studying. Can you repeat again? I was studying. Yes. I was studying yesterday because today I had class. Because I had a class today at the end. Today. Yes. Yeah, very good. Para este caso, estamos con, así, utilizando otro tiempo, pero no se preocupe, saben, eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Okay, the past continues. Y acá está el, el pasado. I had. Had is an irregular verb. Had es un verbo regular. Eso lo vamos a ver uh, luego, no se preocupe. Well, I'm going to read a uh, Cesar's and Bessie's examples. I stayed home during Holy Week. Oh, yeah, that is correct. During Holy Week. Good. Okay. Thank you. I visited the hospital last weekend without that. Is it? I visited the hospital last weekend and I did I did not study English. So you're missing I before this. I did not study English. Okay. Very good, Bessie. Thank you. Okay, everybody, listen. Is it fine for them to start right here? I want you to share your examples via WhatsApp, please. I like it. I mean, I want to see your examples in the chat. Podemos compartir sus ejemplos, por favor. Bienvenido sea, okay? Los reviso con gusto. All right. Well, uh, any questions before to go? De abandonar. Thank you. Okay, everybody. This is all for today. Thanks for being here. And it's a pleasure to have you in this new week. We will continue tomorrow. Have a good night. Sorry, for the go. Good night, good night, teacher. Bye, good night. Bye teacher. Good night. Thank okay. you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you too. Good night. God bless you. Thank you, Renata. Hello, Renata. My little girl watched TV last night. Yeah, that is correct. Thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Well, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. You're welcome. Thank you.